Hey, what's up guys? Welcome in this new video. So today I'm here to show you my brand new radio and I'm here in the screen. Ooh, hello. Um, this is the Radio Master TX16S and I got it like two weeks ago and I switched. This is my new main radio. Bye bye, Tarani 690. This is the future. It's it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you a lot to Radio Master for sending me this radio. I didn't know what I was missing and uh, this this is just the perfection. For me, this is just amazing. So I will go about some specs. I don't think I will go around everything because there is a lot to say about this radio. So I will link down below the Radio Master website and also the website for all the protocols that uh, are compatible with the internal multi-protocol module. Because yes, this radio has a multi-protocol module that can bind to a ton, a ton, a ton of receiver. If you fly FreeSky, Futaba, Gropner, FlySky, Multiplex, uh, Hi-Tech, uh, Spectrum, and many, many others, that all of these are listed in the website down below in the description. But yeah, this radio can bind this. And it's just amazing. This, this make, if you have some bind and fly from Multiplex and some others from Horizon Hobby and uh, some others with Futaba receivers, you can bind them all to this radio and no any more struggle because you need multiple radio and that's amazing. So that's the first thing that I love a lot about this radio and it's not a small thing. Then uh, this radio is a full, I don't know how many channels, 16 I guess, but there is a lot of switch, there is two knobs here. This is a six position switch, I will show you that. Uh, I will turn on the radio right now, just to show you, and you will see this is great, a color screen, and this is touch, this is a touch screen, but I just go about my, here, the screen will turn off, because I ask uh, it to turn off 10 seconds after turn on, but, yeah, anyway, this switch here, as you can tell, it lights up where you click, and it let you know where you are on the switch. It's a six position switch. It's not six uh, separated switch. And I think it's great for big glider flight modes or things you need to have like this. And just to look and know where you at. Uh, for F3K, I personally prefer to have them here on these switches and uh, my preset switches. Maybe you saw I already added my sum grip and uh, my preset switch. I will talk about this a bit later in the video. But yeah, this switch is a cool thing, I think. Um, next, going a bit still down. So there is six trim on this radio. Yes, six. Why? There is only four axi. Yeah, but maybe you have a quadro flaps glider and you want to trim your flaps uh, with maybe another switch because you need to trim ailerons down and flaps down so you have a trim available for this and even another one available so it's it's just great you can do so many things and this radio combined with the power of OpenTX because yes I didn't say it yet but it ran on OpenTX so yeah, this radio can do everything. And as I said, the screen is a touch screen, but OpenTX 2.4 is the version needed to make it work. And OpenTX 2.4 is not out yet. So I think the devs are working hard because it should have been out since nearly a year now, but yeah, we'll see when it will be out. And so this radio is future proof. But anyway, right now, this radio is already really good as it is, even without the touch function working, because uh, it has all the buttons needed to navigate OpenTX really freely and really without any problem. I will show you. 
It's just as it's even as years and on, on Tyrannis or something like this because model is just going into your model menu. You have a page forward, a page backward. This is awesome because it's not often. Um, you can add a picture of your model. So I took a picture with my cell phone, just downgraded a bit the quality to make it work on the radio. And now I just have it right there. And when I select my model, I have the picture of my model you will see right there. And this is awesome. Uh, it's, it's just great. And about navigating in the menu, it's the same thing. It's the same menu as any open TX radio. You have the page forward, page back, return, the radio menu as usual. And yeah, it's it's just great. And you have your telemetry settings. Um, so you can have a lot of screens. It's just, it's great. It's a great radio. I, I want to say perfect, but it's perfect for me at least. So then my modification quickly. So yes, I added a preset switch and I moved uh, the switch that was here. Now it's this one is here and this one is here. So this one is momentary. This one is uh, two position. So I added a preset. So this switch is not working anymore because I'm not using it anyway. Um, so I added a preset, so it's a mouse uh, switch, computer mouse switch, and it needs to fit in between these two switch inside the radio. So it's a bit tricky to do, but it's it's still doable, com completely doable. You just need to drill through the radio. It's a bit of a pain when <laughs> when it's a brand new radio. You you feel like you ruin it, but uh, it's not that bad. And I'm adding this and. Uh, this make my, my thumb grip really well. Other thing about grip, the grips on the back side of this radio are just crazy. This this, this is perfect fit for my hand and uh, it's, it's just so great. I will show you when I grip it like this for launch, look at my hand. It's oh, it's natural. It's like this, it sits like this and it's just perfect for me. In all my other radio, I was in need to put something to make it work with my hand because they are quite large. And on this radio, it's just perfect fit. So that's awesome. The gimbals are all effects, but I think most of the radio of today are coming with great gimbals. But this one, they are smoother than I'm used to uh, on any other radio I felt and I piloted with because I didn't flew only with Terranis but uh, I've flown quite a lot of radio because I've flown a bit with my friend's radio and this one it's just way smoother I don't know why what they did but uh, it's just amazing so last but not least uh, the connectivity so this is for simulator and the storage. So this, this port right here, the USB-C, and you have here the trainer port. So for, uh, yeah, for training with the other radio. And right there, down below, you have the charge port, which is a USB-C also, which is amazing. So it charge your two cell LiPo or two cell lithium ion. Uh, in the back of the radio, so you, you can plug anything and this is amazing. Just need to check how many amps you put into it because, yeah, you, you need to check that. And just on the side, as you can tell, there is a micro SD port. Um, you need to change the micro SD when you get it because it's a 256 megabyte and it's just not powerful enough to, to do anything. So just change for a two. 2 gig or 4 gig and you will be good to go. These things on the side, I don't remember what they do, but I think it's for servos or something like this to test servos. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, there, they are there. You can check it on the manual. Oh, this flies. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to thank a lot again Radio Master for sending me this radio and for their support. I, I just I, I can't say thank you enough. So 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you a lot, guys, for watching this video. Uh, you will see this video in all my videos right now. So in all my next videos. So yeah, thank you a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye.